In an Azure integration architecture, you might have several components talking to each other. For example, you could have Azure Logic Apps that orchestrate different tasks and call Azure Function Apps as part of their workflow. One of the key requirements for enterprise-grade application is to have secure communication between them. But how do we ensure that these calls are secure and only authorized services can call your Function Apps? One option is, we can enable managed identity for Function App and access it from the Logic Apps securely. However, it is very challenging to test Function Apps secured with managed identity using REST client tools like Postman. This is because managed identities are meant for Azure resources to authenticate with other Azure resources and are not designed for outside access and they are not associated with the credentials. Another option is to use Azure AD authentication. In this video, we are going to talk about securing your Azure Function apps using Azure Active Directory and calling the Function app from Azure Logic apps. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I do blogging and make videos on YouTube. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's get started with it now. I'm in my Azure portal. I have already created the resources required for it. The first one is the function app. This is a simple basic function app which doesn't have any authentication mechanism in place which has anonymous access. You simply hit the function app URL and it works. And the next one is I have also created a logic app and I'm invoking the function app from the logic app. At the moment function app doesn't have any authentication mechanism so it directly works. Now let's secure this function app using Azure Active Directory. For that, first we need to create an Azure Active Directory application. Go to Azure Active Directory App Registration screen. Click on New Registration. Give a name and facto iPhone user. You can leave everything to the default because we are using client credential flow. Click on Register. We have the application ready. Now go to Expose API and add application URI. This will give us the application URI as a scope. And also go to the API permissions. Give admin consent for default directory. Okay, that's all done. We have client ID. What we need is we have to create a client secret. For that, just go to the certificates and secret and create a new client secret. I'll use that my sample add okay we got the client secret just make sure you copy that because you won't be able to see it next time we have azure ad application ready we have client id we have the client secret and we have the application id uri which is nothing but the scope we will be using these three in our further steps now let's secure our function app using azure active directory authentication for that go to the function app authentication add identity provider here it will be Microsoft and if you want you can create a new application I mean you can register a new application directly from here or you can pick an existing application we just gonna pick the existing application we will pick in fact to iPhone user which we have created just now and um, you can leave everything to the default just click on add now our function app is secured with OAuth authentication um, if I directly go to the function app URL and try to hit the refresh it redirected to the sign-in page because it would require authentication. If I go to my logic app, if I simply rerun this one, we would get 401 unauthorized exception. Now our function app is secured. Let's see how we can consume this secured function app from Azure Logic App. Go to the logic app, logic app designer. In our sample function app, we're gonna use authentication and authentication type will be Active Directory OAuth. Here we would have to give our Active Directory OAuth details. For authority, we just have to give our Microsoft login endpoint and the tenant ID. You can grab your tenant ID from here and paste the tenant ID. Client audience, if you go to your application, so this will be your audience. Copy that and paste the audience here. Then the client ID, um, this will be your client ID. Copy your client ID from here and client secret, which we have created in previous step and hit save. Now let's run this logic app and see if it works. Okay, it failed. Let's take a quick look at this one and see. 
okay it's still got unauthorized you do not have permission uh, okay um one thing we have missed is we just have to tie up this azure active directory with the function app just using this scope uh, copy this and go to the function app go to our identity provider and in the allowed audience just enter the audience and hit save that is saved now let's go back to the logic app and rerun this again and see if it works okay this time it worked we got the 200 successful response this is how we can access what secured function apps from the logic app let's look at how we can access the function app from the postman this is the token endpoint where we need to post the request and in our case grant time will be client credentials and pass on your client ID and client secret and put on the scope and give the scope here and if you hit enter you would get an access token just copy that access token and go to our function app this is our function app uri in the bearer token just pass the jwt token as a bearer token in the authorization header and simply hit send you get the response back this is how we can access azure function which is secured by azure ad application oauth however if you go to your function app instead of your azure ad application if you go to identity you can always use system managed identity or user managed identity it is just that we won't be able to test the function app using the postman as i said before these identities are for azure purpose internally it works between the azure resources and those credentials are not for the outside if i go back to our logic app designer in the authentication type you can use your managed identity as well but only thing is you won't be able to invoke the function app from postman that's it for this video i hope you like the content I will catch you in the next video. Until then, this is Shri signing off. Thank you.